Good Sunday morning, everyone. How's everyone doing on this morning? This is Minister Tremaine here, back at you with another inspirational message. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. First, I want to give honor to God, who is the head of my life. Amen. He is the one that uh, woke me up this morning and uh, started me on my way. He is the one that set me free from the yoke of bondage, and he is the one, amen, that uh, allowed me to breathe another breath of life on this morning, amen. So today, we're going to be coming to you from the book of Ephesians 4 and 11, and it says, uh, hmm. Right, let's see. Oh, here we go. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors, and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in unity of the faith, of the knowledgeable, of the knowledge yeah, of the Son of God, unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. And I'm going to go on down to verse 32. And it says, And be ye kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as Christ's sake has forgiven you. Amen. Did you know that when Jesus died on the cross for us? Amen. Oh, I know it was the blood. For me, amen. I hear that song this morning. I know it was the blood, amen. When he was crucified on the cross, amen. He died for our sins, amen. That way we can have a second chance to reconcile and praise God, amen. So then I have to tell you that he has forgiven our sins. And his blood has cleansed our sins away. And today I'm going to be uh, talking about living in the truth. And the truth shall set you free. The truth shall make you free. Yes, and the truth shall set you free. When we live in the truth, we live free. Amen. We are free when we're in the truth. We are free from any conviction. And I was reading online here. Um, according to the book of Ephesians, if we are not careful, we can be pretty gullible in our own lives. We can fool ourselves into believing that we are living the life that Christ has called us without learning God's expectations for those who are called by his name. Amen. And this message is titled, Living in the Truth. And when we live in the truth, we are living up to God's expectations. We are living up to his name. It was uh, he that gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors. Amen. God has given us prophets, evangelists, and pastors to teach us the word. Amen. See, God works through them to give you the word. And then it's up to you to apply that word to your life to live according to the gospel of his word. Amen. And he give us teachers. See, a pastor, evangelists, and ministers are teachers because they're teaching the word of God. Amen. You know, like when you go to school, when you say if you're taking a chemistry class, your professor is teaching you the steps so you can learn that to not only prepare for your job and pass your class so you can be successful. Amen. And when evangelists and pastors and ministers and preachers are there for is be they want to see you be successful in Christ. Amen. And then in order for us to apply the word and apply the truth to our lives. Amen. Is we got to live it every day in our lives. We got to do what is right in the eyes of God. Amen. We got to be honest in all our ways. We can't sugarcoat the truth because the truth is so strong so powerful that it will blow and expose and bring 
whatever's in the dark to the light. So we got, so what they do is they prepare God's people works of service so that the body of Christ can be built up and uh, we all unified in the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God. We become mature. We become the fullest of Christ. We become whole. Amen. Um, it says here, then we no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves, blown here and there. Amen. And uh, it, let's see. By the wind of teaching and cunning, craftiness of men and deceitful scheming, instead speaking in truth and love. Amen. We will in all things grow up in him who is the head, that is Christ. Amen. God will make you the head and not the tail. So we got to stop being all wishy-washy. We got to stop moving back and forth. Amen. We got to be anchored in Christ. We got to stand rooted in him, in the truth and in his word. And the word says, those that know the truth know to do right. If not, they shall be beat by many stripes. Amen. So we got to live in the word and live in the truth. Amen. We can't, we, uh, as children of God, we got to be pure hearted, all in it, not partially in it, but all in the word and in the truth. Amen. And uh, this is such a good word here on today. And I'm just I'm glad the Lord brought this word to my uh, heart. You see, and it says they are darkened in their understandings and separated from the lives of God because of the ignorance due to the hardening of their hearts. And when our heart is hard hearted, that means we're not living according to the word. That means we're, we're living in the dark and uh, having lost all sensitivity sensitivity they have given themselves over to sensuality and as to indulge in every kind of impurity with him amen so we got to live in the word we can't be living in in, 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 in unforgiveness not forgiving in our our neighbors and uh, down here at the bottom it says and do not grieve the Holy Spirit with whom you are sealed in the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, brawling, slander, among every form of malice. Be kind, compassionate to one another, and forgive those that forgive, and, and, uh, just as Christ, uh, God, forgiven you. Amen. We got to put aside the works of the flesh. The flesh is what can get us in a world, in a real world of trouble by dealing with the flesh. And we can't feed this flesh. We got to come out of the flesh because this flesh will get us in a world of trouble. This flesh will drive us into the wrong places. Amen. This flesh will have you lying on your co-workers trying to get them fired off their job. I got to tell the truth now. <laughs> I got to tell it how it is. Amen. The flesh will have you lying on your family members, treating your family members any kind of way. Amen. The flesh will have you uh, lying in your relationship. The flesh will have you uh, lying to, uh, uh, about your husband, about your wife. Oh, I don't have a husband. Oh, I'm single. I'm living single, knowing that you're married. Oh, I'm single, knowing that you have a boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> See, <laughs> see, the flesh will <laughs> have us doing anything, anything that is not of God. And it's all just nothing but a fantasy, too, if it's all in the flesh. Because the flesh fantasizes. Amen. The flesh doesn't see reality for what it is. Amen. So we got to put aside all cares of this world and live in the truth. And I'm going to tell you something. If you just live in the truth, amen, you ain't got to worry about a thing. You'll be fine. You'll be good as long as you keep covenant, living the truth, and do what is right. 
Amen. If you know something is not right, I know we all get in the flesh sometimes. But if it's not right, and if it's, a, if, and if it's an offense to God, amen, then don't do it. Because what matters is your relationship with the Lord. Your relationship with God is more important than any other relationship that is out there. Amen. And I, I have to tell it on the day. So that means if you need men, women, and relationships, I got to, I know I always talk about relationship, but I got to say it today. <laughs> men and women, husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend. Friendships as well. We got to live in the truth. That means we got to be honest about everything. Anything you need to, to tell the person, put it out on the table. Amen. I'd rather for you to be honest and tell the truth and not to lose that person than to be honest and then they find out on their own. Because then that could really, 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 really be something. If we're not living in the truth. Amen. So I encourage you all today. Is to live in the truth. Amen. Forgive one another. Regardless of what the person has done to you. Forgive. And live right and according to his word. Amen. Amen. I thank God for this word on today. Uh, it's a, such a powerful word. And I hope I touch somebody's heart on today. And I encourage you to, to hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I also look out for more videos to come soon. Amen. And I, I hope that you have a blessed Sunday. Peace be with you always. And remember, you are loved. You are valued. You are cared about. You are appreciated. Amen. God bless you.